On days 36, 37, and 38, we'll be doing a lot of traveling. We'll spend the evening in the hotel there. Then we will drive our rental car over to the airport where we'll drop it off, pick up our airplane, and fly about 1.30 in the morning over to Seattle. Once we get to Seattle, we'll change planes and fly to Minneapolis-St. Paul. Once we get there, we'll change planes again and fly over to Memphis. In Memphis, we'll be picked up by the shuttle bus and we will stay in a hotel there overnight and then drive home on the last day, day 38. Since we got in so late last night, we'll spend day 36 sleeping in and then washing some clothes, going out to eat and repack. Then about 1.30 we'll drive over to the airport, drop off the rental car, wait a while, and then board our airplane heading for Seattle. We'll be flying over Mount St. Helens and here you can see the hole blown in it by the explosion several years ago. And here are a few pictures out the window. In the left hand picture you'll notice some smoke, probably a wildfire. This is what a canyon looks like from the air.
As we leave the airport, we climb to an altitude where we're flying right at the top of the clouds. And as we look around, we're going to see some thunderheads starting to form. After landing in Memphis, we will call for the shuttle, which will take us back to the Comfort Inns and Suites where we have parked the truck. We'll spend the night there and get up the next morning, and on day 38, we will drive home, finishing our trip. Well, finally flying home. I hope the dogs remember you. You have been gone well over a month. I hope that you enjoyed all you did now get a little bit of rest. I hear you take off again in just three weeks for another month. Will you ever be staying home? This brings us to the end of day 38 and also our whole trip.